Hi everybody, John here from All Miniatures Great and Small and today I'm just doing a quick what's on the table uh, Team Yankee edition. All of the models you see here are the ones that were included in the amazing um, Team Yankee starter box, the one that cost um, only $50 US retail. Um, an amazing deal if modern Team Yankee is your thing. What do I have here? I've got uh, uh, three M1 Abrams, two M60 Pattons, two Bradleys, four of the um, T80s, three T64s, and two uh, BMP3s. So quite a good start to uh, um, either building an American or Soviet force. I decided, since I already have a painted American army for uh, Team Yankee, I thought I would use this as an excuse to paint something in desert colors. So um, none of these are completed yet because the starter box, one flaw of the starter box is it didn't come with decals, or at least mine didn't. So I'm going to have to order some to, uh, to put the appropriate decals on here. Once the decals are on, I can do uh, some serious weathering. But the, um, these were built, I built these as M1A1s. Um, this kit for the Abrams can be built multiple different ways. Um, which is pretty nice. The only thing I have trouble with is building this basket. Um, it's just a little bit too fiddly, um, but it comes together fine and you know, it's not that big a problem, but that's the only flaw um, in, in my opinion. Anyway, the M60 is a beautiful little kit. Um, I didn't have any problems putting this guy together. His basket on the back of the turret was quite easy to do. And you can see again, these guys will pop or come to life when they've got decals. The Bradley, um, this is a, the M3A2 or the M2A2, I can't remember exactly which model, but it has the tow missiles on the side. It's got a lot of extra armor paneling, just a cool looking tank. On the Soviet side, uh, I just think these things look amazing, the T-80s, just with all the extra armor and doodads. Um, it's very cool. Um, the T-64s are pretty similar to the T-72s, which I have built a bunch of those for uh, Jake to use at a uh, Team Yankee tournament three or four years ago. But they're pretty cool looking. And then the uh, BMP3, I forget how large these guys are, um, is pretty simple. I mean, there's not much to it. It's basically a rolling box. Um, it has a lot of weapons in the game. Um, and I, I don't know. I think it looks pretty cool. I think the Bradley looks cooler as far as a, an APC, but I like how big this BMP3 is. It's, you know, it's taller than the tank. And that's because I guess you, you cram fighting men in the back. So that's just a really quick video. Um, the goal is to play a starter battle with Jake. I'm going to let him pick which side he wants so that uh, people can see uh, for themselves whether they think the starter box is, is good as a standalone uh, force and fight. So these two forces fighting each other. Um, It'll be interesting to see how that goes. So I'll let Jake pick. Uh, also in the next couple weeks, hopefully I'll be getting together with my friend Mark and playing a um, uh, hundred point game of Team Yankee, but that's to be decided. That's still up in the air. But looking forward to that, and I'm hoping that happens. All right, there you go, guys. That's just a really quick look at uh, my Team Yankee progress this week. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Check us out on Facebook at All Miniatures Great and Small. Please leave us a like and subscribe here if you like our content. Also click that bell if you'd like to receive notification of further videos. If you like um, Flames of War, you can also check out our Patreon. I'll leave a link in the description below. As always, thanks for watching and keep on wargaming.